Na wasalimu nyote katika jina la Yesu Kristo Bwana asifiwe Karibuni katika ibada ya siku ya leo Tutaanza na wimbo wa tensi namba kumi Usinipite mwokozi Karibuni Baba yetu uliye juu sana twakuinua twakuhimidi maana wewe ndiwe Mungu peke yako watawala duniani hata mbinguni kote wewe ndiwe Mungu unayemiliki asubuhi ya leo twanyenyekea mbele zako twatubu dhambi zetu na makosa yetu yote kwako toomba utusamehe tumepungukiwa tumetenda dhambi nyingi Jehova Mungu hatufai mbele zako but this morning Lord tuomba utusamehe na ututakaze Jehova Mungu wetu twakushukuru kwa baraka nyingi ambazo umetupa pia twasema asanti maana umetukumbuka na umetupenda kila mmoja wetu Jehova Baba umetupa baraka ambazo hazina kipimo ndio sababu twasema asanti Mungu wetu Jehova Mungu wetu asubuhi ya leo tunajiachilia mikononi mwako kujua wewe waweza hakuna linalokushinda 
Ndiyo sababu tuwaleta hoja zetu zote kwa kwa mungu wetu. Kujua wewe wa yasumbukia maisha yetu. Kujua ya kwamba wewe wa shugulikia na hoja zetu zote. Jehova mungu tatutenda mema. Jehova baba tuachilia watoto wetu kwa kwa. Ili ukawakumbuki hata wakati wako nyumbani pamoja nasi. Ukazidi kuwa bariki. Ukawakumbuki na wake zetu pia. Pia pamoja na waume zetu wote mungu. Ukaweze kutubariki kwa pamoja. Wazazi wetu pia tawaleta kwako ili baba watende mema. Zote tunaomba mungu wetu kazidi kutuongoza. Ukazidi kutuelekeza Jehova. Ukatie mioe wetu nguvu hata wakati huu. Tukazidi kusimama katika imani. Jehova mungu hata kama kuna ugonjwa. Ombi letu ni ya kwamba utazidi kututenda mema. Jehova mungu wetu tuamini. Hata nchi yetu tazidi kuyongoza na utazidi kufanya mapenzi yako nasi mungu wetu. Hata kama kanisa bwana wa majeshi. Tunaamini baba mungu pamoja nasi hata wakati huu. Na utazidi kutuongoza na kutuelekeza. Parokia yetu baba wa binguni kwa mikono ni mwako. Tumia mchungaji wetu pamoja na waze wa napoliongoza kanisa letu. Zote kwa pamoja tukafanya mapenzi yako katika jina la Yesu Christu. Tunajiachilia kwa kwa mungu wetu. Ili baba ukanene pamoja nasi ya subu hiya leo. Ukatuambie mapenzi ya kwa nasi mfalme. Tumia mchungaji wetu. Anapotuongoza katika kutafakari neno lako buwana mungu. Utanena nasi. Tusikia mapenzi ya kwa. Tujuu pendavyo nasi ya subu hiya leo. Tuajiachilia kwa kwa baba. Tukiamini ukitushika kwa mkono. Hakika tutaweza kutembea hii safari. Na tutakuwa wa shindi. Hili ni ombi letu la imani. Katika jina la Yesu Christu. Tumiomba na kuwamini. Baba yetu liya binguni. Jina lako litukuzwe. Ufalme wako na uje. Mapenzi yako atimizwa pa duniani. Kama uko binguni. Utupereo riziki yetu. Utusamehe makosa yetu. Kama nasi tunavyo asamehe walio tukosea. Ustutie majaribuni. Lakini utokoe na ule muovu. Kwa kwa ufalme ni wako. Na nguvu, na utukufu, hata milele Amen, Amen Wakati huu, tuamkaribisha Elda Harrison Kwa matangazo na matoleo Pana asifiwe church Asubui ya leo, na washukuru sana Kwa ajili ya mugu kuhupenda Na hata kuona ya kwamba tunastahili kuja katika kanisa lake Na kwa hifo tuko na kila hari ya kumchukuru na kumuinua Tangazo lili ambalo tuko nalo siku ya leo ni kwamba tunakubushwa. Uh, wakati huu ni mgumu na watu wanaombwa sana kuendelea kuvaa maski zao vizuri, kuoga kuosha mikono yao na hata uh, to keep distance kwa maana bado ugonjwa uko na unaendelea kumaliza watu wetu. Kwa hivyo ni vizuri kama serikali yetu ilivyosema Tuweze kuangalia mambo haya yote vizuri na mungu watatubariki tunapofanya hivyo. Hata tunapokaa na watoto wetu katika manyumbani pia tuangalie na tuweze pia kuwarinda ili nae mungu atapata kutupandia mambo mema katika maisha yetu. Kwa hivyo ni vizuri kuti amuli zote zile zimewekwa na ili tupate kujikinga kutokana na huu ugonjwa ambao uko kwa wakati huu. Kwa hivyo kwa sasa basi na waomba tupate kuomba kwa ajili ya matoleo ya siku ya leo ili tuendelee na ibada yetu na tuombe. Mwenyezi Mungu tunakushukulu na tena tunahimidi jina lako asubuhi ya leo. Asanti kwa wema na utukufu wako kwa maana umekuwa pamoja nasi, umetulinda na hata Mungu alehema unaendelea kutuinua katika mambo tofauti kila mmoja wetu. Asanti kwa mana umetubariki na vipawa hivi ambavyo tumeleta katika nyumba yako. Baba walehema tukaomba ya kwamba upate kuyapokea kwa balaka zetu zako mwana. Upate mungu wa isilaili kutuinua na hata kutufanyia mambo mema. Bariki kazi za mikono yetu mfalme mwema. Mahali popote ambapo matoleo haya huwa ya natoka. Mungu walehema tuomba ya kwamba ukapate kukubuka mahali hapo pote pale mungu walehema. Asanti kwa wema na utukufu wako endelea kutubariki ili bwana tunapo ingia katika nyumba yako bwana tukawa na matoleo ili mungu wa isilaili kazi yako ikazindi kuendelea bere. Asanti kwa wema na utafutuwa hivo 
tunaomba haya katika jina la Yesu Kristo aliye mwokozi wa maisha yetu. Amen. Wakati huu nitamkaribisha Chialedi wa Youth parokia yetu aweze kutueleza yaliyo mbele wakati huu wa Youth Week. Karibu Sister Joan. Good morning ladies and gentlemen. This morning I'm grateful and I take this opportunity to 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 greet all the youths from across the congregation in Riru East Parish. And uh, this morning I uh, want to introduce the Youth Week 2021 which will be led by the theme Psalms 119:105 Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. And uh, as for the week, these are the activities that we have. Uh, we have uh, the meditation activities on uh, the Psalms 119 Bible studies, Bible child reading challenges, workshops, which will be done online. And I'm urging all youths to kuja pamoja so that uh, we can make this youth week a success. And as we approach the Youth Sunday, we are hoping that it will be a success. And uh, this morning, I take this opportunity to invite our parish minister who will be launching the Youth Week officially. Karibu sana mchungaji. I walk is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Thy walk is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Praise God. Amen. I want to greet all of you who are watching us, and more so the youth. This is Youth Week, as we've been introduced by John, our chair lady for the youth. And uh, this being our Youth Week, we normally start the activities from today, Sunday, all the way to next Sunday, where we'll be uh, leading the program and all the activities that you'll be going through the week. And to do this, it is important for us, all of us, as youth, to stand up wherever we are so that we pray for the theme, and also we pray for each one of us that God will help us even as we go through that program of the week. Can we rise up and we pray together? Heavenly Father, we come before your presence with thanksgiving in our hearts, Thank you because you have given us such a wonderful youth in our church. And Lord, we want to commit each one of them as we launch this theme of Psalms 119 verse 105 that your word is the light unto our feet and a lamp unto our path. Lord, we want your light to illuminate and to help us so that we may be able to search your scriptures we may be able even to comprehend of your scriptures that, Lord, we may continue to grow spiritually. We continue to pray for each one of us that, Lord, you are going to help us in the midst of the many challenges that we are going through, even during this coronavirus pandemic that has hit us hard. We are praying that, Lord, things will normalize. And, Lord, we are going to go back to activities after this uh, is ended. Oh, Lord, we thank you. And we honor you, Father. We pray that, Lord, you are going to give us breakthrough in everything that we do. Even for the programs of the week, we are calling upon you, you guide us. And we commit everything to you, for we pray in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. And now I take this opportunity to declare now, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, that the Youth Week theme Psalms 119 verse 105 is officially launched and all the activities that the youth will be taking over the week, you are going to be blessed in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Wakati huu na wakaribisha wasomaji watuelekeze katika masomo yetu yote mawili. Karibuni wasomaji. 
Our first reading comes from the book of Psalms 119, 97 to 105. And it says, Oh, how I love your law. It is my meditation all the day. You, through your commandments, make me wiser than my enemies, for they are even for they are ever with me. I have more understanding than all my teachers, for your testimonies are my meditation. I understand more than the I understand more than the Asians before I keep your precepts. I have restrained my feet from ever evil from every evil way that I may keep your word. 102. I have not departed from your judgments, for your for you yourself have taught me how sweet are your words to my taste, sweeter than honey to my mouth. Through your precepts I have I, I get understanding, therefore I hate every false way. 105. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. That's the word of God. So praise God. Praise God again. So our second reading comes from the book of Second Timothy from chapter chapter 3 verse 10 to 17 and let's read but you have followed my teaching my conduct and my purpose in life you have observed my faith my patience my love my endurance my persecutions and my sufferings you know all that happened to me in Antioch in, a, in a Iconium and Lystra the terrible persecutions I endured but the Lord rescued me from them all. Everyone who wants to live a godly life in union with Christ Jesus will be persecuted. But as for you, continue in the truths that you are taught and firmly believe, and firmly believe. You know who you, you know who your teachers were, and you remember that ever since you were a child, you have known the Holy Scriptures, which are, which are able to give you the wisdom that leads to salvation through faith in Christ Jesus. All Scripture is inspired by God and is useful for teaching the truth, rebuking error, correcting faults, and giving instruction for right living, so that the person who serves God may be fully qualified and equipped to do every kind of good deed. And that's the end of the word I read in. I'm Eric Kahura, and I'm saved. Jesus Christ is my Savior. Amen. <laughs> Thank 
Praise the Lord. I want to greet each one of you. Wote ambao wanatutazama kupitia mitambo yetu. Na wasalimu nyote katika jina la Yesu Kristo asubuhi njema. Tunapokuja kusikia neno lake Mungu. Kwa majina ni Simon Murigi Njaga, Yesu ni Bwana na mwokozi wa maisha yangu. Kama vile tulisema leo ni kuweza kuzindua mwongozo ambao utaendeshwa na wanarika katika wiki hii ambayo imekuwa desturi yetu ya kwamba wakati wote ambao kuna youth week hiyo Jumapili ya kwanza huwa inakuwa ni kuzindua eh, mwongozo alafu wanarika wanajumuika pamoja kwa wiki hiyo wakichambua maneno yale na wakifanya mambo mengine ya kuweza kuendesha injili hii na kwa hivyo bila kupoteza muda ningetaka tuingie katika hilo neno na mwongozo wetu umetoka katika kitabu cha Zaburi moja na tisa na kini cha mambo yote ni katika mstari ule wa moja na tano ambao kwa Kiingereza unasema your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Kiwoge ya ku netawa magoro ine makoa na odheri jera ine akoa. Praise the name of the Lord. Ah, uh, ni vizuri kujua ya kuomba kitabu hiki cha zaburi. Na hasa katika zaburi hii ya miyamoja kuminatisa ni zaburi ya tofauti sana na zile zingine ambazo zimeandikwa uh, katika kitabu cha zaburi na there are many uh, or uh, some striking features very interesting about Psalms 119 kwa sababu zaburi ya 119 ndio uh, ki, uh, ndicho kifungo kirefu sana katika Biblia. It's the longest chapter in the Bible na hakuna eh, kifungu chingine katika Biblia kimefikia Psalms 119. Kwa hivyo ni muhimu sana kujua Psalms 119 is the longest chapter in the Bible and it has 176 verses. Kitu kingine ambacho tunagundua katika zaburi ya 119 ni kwamba ukiangalia katika Biblia Biblia the middle of the Bible au katikati ya Biblia yote ni katika zaburi ya 117 All the chapters of the Bible the middle of the Bible a Psalms 117. Na tena, Zaburi, miyamoja kuminanane, all the verses of the Bible, the middle of the verses, is taken from Psalms 118, verse 1 and 2. Na kwa hivyo, katika hapa, tunaona ya kuamba, Biblia, iko na umuhimu mkubwa sana, Hapa ndipo commercial break of the Bible. Very interesting. That is my quote. This is a commercial break of the Bible. It is where the Bible breathes. It is a breather of the Bible. And Psalms 119, it's like we are starting off from where we left and we are continuing all the way to Genesis. And what is the 119 says, uh, saying? It is talking purely what is the Bible. And it is saying the word. It is purely the theme of this uh, scripture is the word. And the whole of the Bible is the word. And therefore it takes the longest to explain. Inachukua muda mwingi sana kuweza kuonyesha ya kwamba hakuna kitu kingine cha ya kutiliwa mkazo isipokuwa neno la Bwana na ukiangalia 
katika kitabu cha mwanzo Genesis uh, chapter 1 in the beginning there was God and you get into a gospel according to St John uh, chapter 1 in the beginning there was word and the word was with God and the word was God praise the name of the Lord kwa hivyo hapa tunaongea Mungu mwenyewe neno lake ambalo ametupatia tukaweza kulitafakari na kuweza kulitilia maanani katika maisha yetu Zaburi 119 ndio one of the most artistic ile imeandikwa na style ambayo hakuna ingine imewahi andikwa hivyo This is the most uh, imaginative kind of writing that you will find in the Bible. Na ukiangalia, imeandikwa in 22 portions. 22 portions from verse 1 to 176, there are 22 portions, each having eight verses. That is important for us to know. That the book of Psalms, is a song with 22 uh, uh, verses, with 22 uh, portions, uh, whereby tunaona ya kwamba in each there are eight um, there are eight verses in, a, in every portion. Na ukiangalia katika 22, katika kihibirania, ni kwamba herufi zao ni 22 na inaanza na letter alef ndio a katika english we have 26 uh, alphabets in hebrew we have 22 alphabets and you can see uh, it is in our english form we can say it is a to z a to Z, everything is contained there in the Word of God. The emphasis is the Word of God contains everything from the beginning to the end. And it starts with God himself in the Genesis and all the way uh, to, uh, to the end of the Bible. The Word of God is so important to us that it needs to be emphasized in Atakiwa kutiliwa manani na mkazo mkubwa ah uh, na ukiangalia tena katika style ambayo imetumiwa utakuta ya kwamba huyu mwandishi ambaye tunajua eh, alikuwa ni Daudi ameandika eh, kwa njia au fasaha mkubwa sana ambayo ukiangalia katika ubeti wa kwanza au stanza ya kwanza unaona kuanzia anaanzia na Hebrew ukiangalia katika Biblia ya Kiibrania ameanza na herufi a akimalizia huo ubeti aje mstari wa tisa utakuta katika herufi ya pili ya wahibirania ilikuwa ni Beth B na anaanza pia ubeti wa pili na hiyo herufi akimalizia eh, ubeti huo ubeti wa tatu anaanza na herufi ya tatu hivyo ni kumaanisha huyu ni mtu alitengeneza eh, maandishi yake vizuri sana this is poetry is like eh, writing a poem na ilikuwa ni mpangilio mkubwa sana kwa hivyo ni mtu ambaye alikuwa anajua kabisa kile ambacho anaongea juu yake na utakuta katika hata kumalizia eh, na herufi ya mwisho tau utakuta ameanza na hiyo herufi 
Na kwa hivyo ukiangalia ni mtu ambaye alikuwa ana ustadi mkubwa sana na, na wa kuandika hii Zaburi kwa sababu alikuwa anataka kutilia mkazo kabisa ili kuonyesha umuhimu wa neno katika maisha ya kila mmoja wetu. Na ukiangalia utaona ya kwamba katika kifungu hiki cha 119 imeanza vizuri sana. Na verse 1 ni vizuri kujua uh, vile uh, ameandika. Anasema ya kwamba blessed are those whose ways are blameless who walk in the law of the Lord Hivyo ni kumaanisha ya kwamba wale ambao wamebarikiwa blessed wale those who are happy are they that walk in the law of God Na ametumia maneno katika Uh, uh, zaburi ya 119 ametumia maneno kama kumi ambayo i, inaongea juu ya neno la Mungu na hapa ya kwanza ndio ameandika eh, the law the law of god na katika kihibrania the law katika biblia hii uh, uh, au Uh, zaburi ya 119 the law is used 25 times ametumia uh, neno hilo mara 25 na katika uh, kutafsiri the law was the torah the law of moses ile tunajua ilikuwa vitabu vile vitano vya Musa na ilikuwa imeongea sheria za wanaisraeli na katika kule kujua maana ya neno hili law original meaning ilikuwa instruction or teaching of the word of god instruction or teaching ni kufunza vile watu watakuwa wakiendesha mambo yao na wajue na unaweza soma hiyo katika zaburi ya sabini na nane mstari wa kwanza ile inasema oh my people hear my teaching listen to the words of my mouth na pia unaweza kuona neno hilo eh, tora proverbs 1:8 ile inasema listen my son to your father's instructions and do not forsake your mother's teaching kwa hivyo haya ni mafunzo watu walikuwa waweze kujua neno la Mungu na kusoma na kuweza kulisikia na kulitenda lile neno na ukiangalia pale pia mstari huo wa kwanza inaongea juu ya wale ambao wanapitia njia the way is blameless the way ile katika eh, kihibrania ilikuwa ni talak the path way taking step by step in the journey through life as god intends hii ilikuwa ni barabara ambayo kila mmoja anatakiwa kuifuata ili akawa na maisha mazuri na akawa mtu ambaye amebarikiwa the way to put our lives pure so that we are not put to shame unaweza soma hiyo zaburi hiyo hiyo ya 119 mstari wa 9 na pia zaburi 100 Eh, m, eh, zaburi ya 119 mstari wa sita God has given us teaching He has instructed us by his words so we have guidelines for our lives 
We have a way to true blessedness. Ile barabara tunatakiwa kupitia. Ukiangalia katika hiyo hiyo zaburi kwa sababu ndiyo tunaangalia mstari wa tisa ni ya muhimu sana kwa sababu hii ni wiki ya wanarika the youth na pale mstari ule wa, wa tisa inauliza swali moja ambalo ni muhimu kwetu kama wanarika tujiulize how can a young man keep his way pure how can a young man keep his way pure na inajibu inasema by guarding it according to your word. Kwa hivyo neno lake Bwana ndilo linatuhimiza ndilo ambalo tuta, uh, tutaweka na kuliweza kulitumia katika maisha yetu ili tuweze kuwa watu ambao wameimarika pure people. Na pale unaona ni by the way of guarding uh, it according to your word ukisoma mstari wa 20 inasema with the whole my heart i seek you let me not wander from your commandments in other words ni lile neno na kuliweka kwa moyo heart ni vizuri sana kuongea kwa roho ya wanarika pale ni pale ambapo tunatakiwa kuweka lile neno heart is the central place that directs one's emotions thoughts and actions you can read that in proverbs 4 and verse 20 and also in that proverb 4 you can also find a very interesting uh, verse in uh, chapter 4 verse 20 The word of God is medicine. Hata kwa mambo yote ambayo e, yako katika maisha yetu tukikula lile neno tunakuwa sawa. We are becoming healthier day by day kwa kutumia lile neno. Unaweza soma pia Mathayo 12:33 ya kwamba God's words uh, to have a place in one's heart. Psalms again 111 uh, 119 verse 11 Na ni vizuri vijana tukiongea juu ya neno hili ambalo ndio muhimu sana katika maisha yetu Ni vizuri we turn our hearts towards the statutes of God and not towards selfish gain verse 36 of chapter 119 ya kwamba tuweke lile neno katika maisha yetu na sio kwa sababu ya mambo yetu lakini ni kwa sababu ya mambo ya Mungu katika maisha yetu ni vizuri kuomba Mungu pale Zaburi imeongea mambo mengi sana inaongea juu ya hii lineno na vile tunaweza kulitumia verse 18 mwandishi huyu ambaye ni Daudi anasema open my eyes that i may see wonderful things in your law nione mambo ya kustajabisha katika neno lako na pia ni vizuri kuomba sisi wanarika Let me understand the teaching of your precepts. Ah uh, Chapter 119 verse 27. Utaona maneno mengine kama precepts. Hiyo pia verse number 27. Na precepts is teaching is also instruction kuweza kuelewa vizuri juu ya neno la Mungu the desire to understand and the desire to obey must go hand in hand kuelewa na kutenda lile neno ni vizuri tulijue 
Ni vizuri kujua his way is way of truth. Tunasema is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Kwa hivyo kuna barabara ambayo tunapitia. Na ni vizuri kujua ya kwamba eh, his way, his word is a way of truth. Psalms 119 and verse 30. The path we are to follow and that we must pray not to stray from it. Tuombe Mungu tusitoke kwa hiyo barabara. Tuombe Mungu tusiweze ku you know, kupotoka kutoka kwa ile barabara ambayo neno lake Mungu ndilo taa eh, na mwanga katika hiyo barabara. Inatuonyesha vizuri pahali ambapo tunaweza kupitia. Ah uh, you can uh, Read that in Psalms 119 verse 10. It's the way of life. Neno lake. Lina tupeleka katika mambo ambayo ni uhai. It's the way of life. Walk and even run in it with enthusiasm. You know, ni vizuri kuwa na ule yeah, ushawishi wakuweza kulitumia lile neno katika maisha yetu. Ni vizuri kusema ya kwamba eh, neno la Mungu kama vile limeandikwa unaweza kulisoma every day ukisoma chapter 3 chapters every day you can clear the bible by within one year kwa hivyo ni vizuri kujizoesha kusoma lile neno lake Mungu ah uh, Kuna ile theme ambayo inatuongoza katika general assembly ile niliongea juu yake last week na kuzindua theme consider our ways uh, in uh, Haggai uh, chapter uh, 1 verse 5b na hapa Psalms 119 uh, verse 59 inasema I have considered my ways and I have turned my steps to your statutes. Ile ku, you know, kutafakari neno lake mungu na kuweza kubadilisha eh, maisha ni kule kuangalia lile neno lake mungu. Walking in the ways of God. Kule ni kubadilisha maisha. Warumi sita mstari wane inasema we were therefore buried with him by baptism into his death in order that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, you know, uh, by sending his son Jesus uh, in likeness, in his likeness. Ni kwamba katika kutembea na yule mungu, tunajua hata mwanawe Yesu Kristo, kutambua lile neno, Tunaweza kujua zaidi. Warumi nane mstari wa nne. Unaweza soma hayo pia. Ya kwamba, eh, we walk not according to flesh, but according to the spirit. Hilo ni neno lake mungu. Ya kwamba tutakuwa tukiena katika roho wake, tukiweza kulisoma lile neno. Second Corinthians chapter 5 verse 7. For we walk by faith, not by sight. Ile njia ya mungu. Ni ile ya kumuamini. By faith. Also, Ephesians 4, verse 1. Uh, Paul says, as a prisoner of Christ, I urge you, ni ile barabara ambao tunapitia. I urge you, walk in the manner worthy of the calling to which you have been called. Ile barabara ambayo ni ya kuweza kutembea na ule mwito ambao Mungu ametuita ni kule kulijua neno lake Mungu. Ephesians also 5 verse 2 and walk in love as Christ loved us. Ile ni barabara ya kutembea na Yesu. Kujua Mungu na kuweza kuliweza kuli, kuliweka neno lake katika maisha yetu. O kolosai, kolosai moja kumi pia inasema 
so as to walk in the manner worthy of the Lord. Ile barabara, ile mungu anatupitisha. Psalms 119 verse 105. You know, walking in that path, ni kule kutembea katika um, uh, vile mungu ametuita. In the manner worthy of the Lord. Ku, ku, kuweza uh, kufuata Yesu Kristo. Unaweza soma pia, wa Colossians, Colossians chapter six, 2 verse 6. Therefore, as you've received Jesus Christ, uh, uh, the Lord, so walk in him, rooted and built up in him, and established in faith, just as you were taught, abounding in thanksgiving. Ni kusema ya kwamba ni kutembea na Yesu katika maisha yetu. Wanarika ni kutembea na Yesu. Colossians chapter 4 verse 5 also. Walk in wisdom towards outsiders, making the best use of time. Also running the race of life. Nile kuweza kutembea na Yesu. Hebrews chapter 12 and verse 1 to 2. Ile ni barabara. Na ile barabara ni kwamba tumezingirwa na watu wengi sana ambao wanatuangalia vile tutaweza kupitia ile barabara na kuweza kukamilisha mbio za imani. Uh, katika mwandishi wa Zaburi 119 pale ambapo tumesoma 105 is responding to the challenges zile ambazo huyu mtu wa Mungu Daudi alizipitia and uh, he says he turns to God's precepts Psalms 119 verse 78 na hili neno precept imesemwa mara 21 katika hiyo zaburi na Inamaanisha ya kwamba something laid down to guide someone's life. In other words, what God directs in his word is what is best for us individually, in families, and in our society. God is concerned at all details of our lives. We should please him and thus also be for our greatest good. Sisi tunatakiwa kutembea na, na, na uo muongozo ambao umewekwa ili kuweza kukabiliana na zile changamoto katika maisha yetu. Kwa hivyo, kama wanarika, ni kusema ya kwamba tuweze ku, kusoma neno lake mungu. The psalmist has to face opposition of proud and uh, arrogant people persecuting him. Wakati ambao tunaisi kuna mambo mengi yanaweza kutu discourage. Ata wakati huu wanarika wengi hawana ajira. Na wanaweza kuona, wanaweza kupata changamoto nyingi. Ata wakienda kutafuta uh, kazi, wanakuta ni lazima watoe rushwa. Mambo kama hayo. Ni vizuri kujua ya kwamba, eh, ni vizuri kujua ya kwamba tuweke neno lake mungu ndani yetu ili tuziweze kupotoshwa na mambo ambayo ya na tuzingira kila wakati. Psalms inaendelea kusema, eh, iyo verse eh, 118 verse 88, he prays the Lord to spare his life. This is by hiding or heeding to the word of God. Whatever opposition, he is determined to follow God's precepts. I gain understanding from your precepts. Your word is light to my feet and a lamp to my path. Hii ni barabara ambao tutatembea na mungu. And this means 
step by step as we travel through life, we can have guidance of God's word. Ukiangalia katika Timotheo wa kwanza wa pili 22 utakuta wana youth au wanarika wengi wanapata changamoto nyingi one of them that is mentioned in first timothy chapter 2 verse 22 is the last ya yeah, mambo ya mwili ambayo pia inaweza kutusumbua na bila neno lake mungu kuwa ndani yetu hatuwezi kushinda mambo hayo ambayo yanaweza kutuletea madhara mengi sana katika maisha yetu Paulo ameongea na Timothea ambaye alikuwa ni kijana. Na ni vizuri uh, Paulo aliongea na yeye kuhusu neno lake Mungu. Na ukiangalia katika Timotheo wa pili mstari ule wa 16 inasema all scripture is breathed out by God and profitable for teaching for reproof for correction and for training in righteousness that the man of God may be complete equipped for every good work neno lake mungu ni neno ambalo yeye mwenyewe ndiye ameweka na ndiye aliweka uh, you know ule moyo he breathed this word that we are speaking about is God himself. is the life of God. Na ndiyo itatufanya ili tukaweza kushinda majaribio ambayo ya natukuta. Katika kile kifungu, uh, unaona ya kwamba, na ni jambo nzuri sana kuona, eh, vile tulisoma zaburi ya miyamoja kuminatisa. Ukiona vile imeandikwa na vile uh, pale 117 118 psalm and 119 unaona ya kwamba neno la Mungu ni neno ambalo linahusisha Mungu mwenyewe kuandika kwa hiyo style na kuweza kuiweka pale inaonyesha Mungu ana mpango mzuri Mungu anaonyesha ya kwamba neno lake ndilo everything kwa sababu hakuna pahali pengine katika Biblia imeongea mambo mengi uh, kuliko Psalms 119. The word of God is everything in our lives. And the word of God is going to help us even to overcome the challenges. Uh, first, uh, t- uh, second Timothy. Akiongea na huyu kijana anaitua Timotheo. Niko karibu kumaliza. Uh, ukiangalia pale uh, kifungu cha tatu. Kuanzia pale uh, kumwanzo. Utaona ya kwamba Paulo alikuwa na mambo mengi. Alikuwa na shida nyingi. Na alikuwa na himiza huyu Timotheo na ya pia aweze kumuiga to imitate Paul in the journey of life. Ili ya siweze kushindwa na mambo ambayo yanatendeka. Na moja ya yale mambo alikuwa anaongea juu yake ya Timotheo na ni vizuri hata sisi vijana kujua Ni kwamba katika e safari hii, in this path where we have the word of God, in this path, in this journey of life, kuna mambo ambayo atakuwa ya kitukwaza. Na moja ni wale ambao wanatuopos ata kiroho. Na anatumia e, mfano wa... wa, 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 wa Wa kitabu cha kutoka, Exodus. Anatumia watu wawili, magician. Wale walikuwa wanaitua Janes na Diabes. Wale walikuwa ndio wachawi wakubwa sana katika uh, kwa firauni. Na wale walikabiliana na Musa. Wakati Musa alikuwa nafanya miujiza na wao walikuwa nafanya miujiza. Ni vizuri kutofautisha kama wanarika kujua the right word. Na kujua ambayo sisi tunaweza kudhihirisha vile tumeamini ni kweli. Na kwa hivyo kunaweza kuja watu ambao watakuwa wakiwahada. Na wakionyesha kama kweli wakona nguvu za mungu. Na lakini ni wakupotosha. 
ni vizuri kuwa kuwa very careful on the proliferation of uh, the cuts and or cuts in the society wale ambao wanafundisha mafundisho mabaya na kwa hivyo ni lazima tuwe uh, spoil saying to be fully equipped you know for every good work sisi kama wanarika tusiwe watu wa kuhadaiwa tusiwe watu wa kudanganywa ni lazima tujue ukweli kwa sababu sisi tunajikuta wakati mwingine tuna kutana na mambo mengi ambayo yanaweza hata kututoa katika neno lake Mungu. Na ni vizuri kujihami vizuri na neno lake Mungu. Uh, Paulo hapa anasema mstari ule uh, tuanze hapo tatu. Um, avoid such people. For among them are those who creep into households and capture weak women burdened with sins and led astray by various passions always learning and never able to arrive to knowledge of the truth verse 8 as Janes and Jabez opposed Moses so these men also opposed the truth men corrupted in mind and disqualified regarding the faith but they will not get very far for their folly will be plain to all as was that of those two men ni vizuri ku, ku, kuweza kujua pahali hata pa kuabudu Mungu kweli na roho wake kwa sababu tunakuta wengine nilipata mshichana mmoja alikuja kwangu na akaweza kuniambia alikuwa na shida na aliweza kwenda kwa pasta wake mtumishi wa Mungu na alipomwambia shida yake na shida ilikuwa ni kubwa ule pasta alikuwa anamwambia ile shida uko nayo ukipata breakthrough na ninajua nikikuombea utaweza kufaulu na mimi ni lazima unipatie kitu kidogo na pale alikuwa anaongea juu ya vile anaweza you know, kusaidiwa ili yaweze eh, kukomboa biashara yake na yule alikuwa anaona hii inawezekana akimuombea lakini alikuwa anamwambia kabla ya kukuombea ni lazima tuwe na mkataba nikikuombea na wewe unitolee fungu la kumi. ni vizuri kujua ukweli wa mambo kwa kanisa ni vizuri ujue hakuna kulipishwa maombi hayalipishwi na unaona makanisa mengi unaenda na unadanganywa kama wanarika ni vizuri tujijue sisi na tuweze kujua mambo ya ukweli Paulo anaongea juu ya ile shida alipitia hata alipokuwa kule katika you know safari zake za umesheni na anaambia huyu mtu wa Mungu uh, Timotheo ambaye atakuwa anachukua hatamu baada yake ya kwamba aweze kuvumilia shida zikija wanarika ni vizuri kuvumilia ni vizuri kujua na kumwamini uh, Mungu kupitia neno lake ni vizuri hata wakati huu tunapoenda kuadhimisha wiki hii tutafakari na tujue tukiweza kuliweka neno lake Mungu katika maisha yetu tutaweza kufaulu katika yale mambo ambayo tunayafanya na Mungu ni mwaminifu Mungu atatuwezesha. Ile neno lile neno tukilisoma na tukulitia katika roho zetu kama vile Zaburi imesema ba, na tutaweza kuwa tumebarikiwa. Katika jina la Baba, Mwana na Roho Mtakatifu. Amen. Na tuweze kuinuka na kuchukua baraka siku ya leo. Na tuombe. Baba Mwenyezi tunakushukuru kwa sababu umekuwa mwema kwetu. Ni asanti kwa neno lako ambalo umeongea juu yake katika maisha yetu. Tusaidie tuweze kulitilia maanani na tukaweza kulitafakari na kuweza kufaulu katika maisha yetu. Tusaidie sisi kama vijana, tusaidie sisi hata wazazi na yote ambayo tuko nayo Bwana. Tunaomba Bwana ukaweza kutusaidia na tukaweza kuenda na njia yako 
tukiangaziwa na neno lako. Tubariki sasa katika jina la Yesu tumeomba na kuamini. Na sasa amani ya Bwana ipitao akili zote za binadamu ikahifadhi mioyo yenu na nafsi zenu. Mkaweza kumjua Mungu na kumpenda mwanae Yesu Kristo na baraka zake Mwenyezi Mungu, Baba, Mwana na Roho Mtakatifu zikae nanyi na zidumu nanyi sasa na hata milele. Amen. Amen. Ah, uh, hata kama tumemalizia ni vizuri kuwatakia kila laheri uh, wale ambao walifanya mtihani wa darasa la nane, matokeo alitoka na wale vijana ninataka kuwapongeza na zile alama ambazo kila mtu alipata hizo ndizo zako na usiwe uh, na you know, kusikia kama kwamba maombi hayakujibiwa tunaomba ya kwamba hata ki uh, you know, uh, kwenda hapo pengine hata kama ni sekondari au pahali pengine Mungu ataweza kuwasaidia na nyinyi wazazi pia ni vizuri kumshukuru Mungu hata wakati ukiwa mgumu tunaomba Mungu atawasaidia watoto wenu hata wale wako form 4 bado wanamalizia tunawatakia kila laheri uh, Bwana wabariki na watendee mema amen